this is Billy Hofacker from Training4MMAFitness.com. I want to go over some tips today in regards to sprinting. I just got finished up with a great group, a small group workout, and uh, we did a sprinting workout. And along with this video is going to be a blog with a sample workout, sample sprint workout, and also a way to enhance that workout. So a few tips on sprints. I am not a high-level running coach or anything like that. However, I have learned from some of the best, and I have some great tips for you on running. First thing I want to go over is your arms when you're running. A lot of people have the wrong idea with arm motion when it comes to sprinting. So one of the drills we do when we first start clients out is just the arm motion. Basically what you want to do is move at the shoulder joint. I don't want to be moving too much at the elbows. I want to keep it from the shoulders. So no exact way to do it. You might want to come to somewhere like right below your chin with your fingertips, but out and then right to about where your hip pockets would be. So we have people just kind of start with this drill. And this is, this is a drill that high level Olympic athletes do on a regular basis. So don't think it's too basic for you. It's a good way to get warmed up, get those mechanics down, practice it even when you're jogging, practice that motion. Try to avoid, again, too much of this bending at the elbow. Keep it somewhat constant. Could bend a little bit, but not too much. And the second thing with regard to the lower body, another drill that we do is just practicing popping the hips. Some people, they just, they just don't get enough pop in their hips when they're running. So what we do is we have them first balance, because you do have to balance on one leg as you're running a little bit. So we want to make sure we can do that. So we have people just make sure they can balance on both legs. And then we practice keeping that foot flat, which we're going to go over next. And then with the arms, boom, pop the hips. And then it turns into a run, but you have to get that, that hip pop to uh, become efficient at sprinting. And the last thing is the foot position. It's very, it's very important that we don't keep the foot with the toe pointed down, which is called plantar flexion. This is no good, because when you're running like this, you can't get a good push off of the foot. So you want to keep that foot, it's called dorsiflexed. It's basically flat right across there, right below the knee. So just practice those three tips, the arm motion, popping those hips, and keeping that foot in the proper position. It's gonna help you get a better sprint workout. And rather than going over it in this video, there's gonna be a actual workout that you can do, a basic one to get started, and then one that's a little more enhanced. So I hope you enjoy it. Feel free to leave comments, questions, and uh, go get after it. So talk to you soon.